Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here, and I'm going to be starting a new series of tutorials on how to create your own website. Now, say you're a guy that knows a lot about tech and you want to start your own blog, or you're a guy that wants to distribute files for your business, or you're somebody who just wants to get the word out about you. Uh, this tutorial will cover everything from setting up hosting to making the web page and to getting to spreading the word out to people. Um, so now, after that 30 second intro, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is get hosting. You can get free hosting from extremehost.com. Extremehost.com, spelled like that. Once you get here, you're just going to want to press sign up and register for everything. I'm already signed in, so there we go. Um, so once you're registered and signed in, you'll get this thing called the Vista panel, which is the overall control panel of your uh, domain website. First thing you're going to want to do is set up a couple of things. So you're going to want to go to the control panel area, account management, and uh, update contact email. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your email address is correct. Okay, You need this email address a lot, so make sure it's correct and it's not like a spam email address. Second thing you're going to want to do is go to control panel, domains, then subdomains. You then need to enter the domain of what your website is going to be. So mine is going to, for the set of tutorials, it's going to be tutorialsites.extremehost.com. I'll add the domain. And if you notice, it's right here. So um, we're going to get started. We're going to go to control panel. And then, actually, we're going to click on home. Now what we're going to want to do, now that we have our domain set up and you can access it from the web, if we notice we go to tutorialsite.extremehost.com Wait, I don't think that was the right domain. Hold on a second. Okay, it was actually tutorialsites.extremehost.com If you go here, it'll just say index of slash. It says that because we haven't put any files on here. How do we put files on here, you may be asking? Well, first thing you're going to need is an FTP client. Okay, I'm going to recommend FileZilla. So, to get FileZilla, you're simply just going to Google FileZilla. Then you're going to be taken to FileZilla.project.org. Just go there. Uh, download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. And then you're going to want to set up FileZilla for your website. So, once you open up FileZilla, You're going to want to press server or file site manager. Once you do that, you're going to want to press new site and then name it your thing. So tutorials sites. There's that. And then where you need to enter all the information. We don't know what this information is. So we're going to click on home on our Vista panel. And then where it says file management, we're going to click on FTP information. Now if you look, it gives us all these things. So FTP hostname, I'm just going to copy that. Username, logon type, normal. User, whoa. Password, going to enter my password. Um, port, I don't know what port to use. So, I'm just going to say port 80. Um, you, you don't need any of this stuff. So then we're just going to want to press connect. Okay, so it looks like it was not port 80. Um, we're, we're just not going to even enter a port to see what that does. Can I press connect? Break current connection? Yes. And look at that. We didn't even need to enter a port. Now what we're going to do now is click on our subdomain that we have, so tutorialsites.extremehost.com. And then we're going to want to click on htdocs. And then if you notice in here, there's nothing here. Okay? So this is this is um, our website. Our website is made up of a bunch of files. Uh, a bunch of like every single page. So now that we have our FileZilla set up 
everything set up to start creating our first web page. There's several ways to do this, but right now I'm going to end this getting started tutorial. Then I'm going to make tutorials on the type of websites and how to get started. So thanks for watching this tutorial by Brandonia Productions. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorials on how to build your website for small business or personal use. Thanks for watching.